Yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, we're at a Chinese Chinese American conference, and talking to Charles McGonigal, and he's a special agent in FBI. It's our first time talking to someone from FBI. So tell us, what do you do at FBI? Well, uh, I was the special agent in charge of the counterintelligence division in New York City. Uh, so we are back to Silicon Valley. You know, nowadays, um, our President Trump said Chinese students are spies, and also the high-tech companies, and they have relationship or business uh, back and forth in Asian countries, and you know they really worry about this. So, what's your suggestion? Well, I, I think uh, you have to understand that the Chinese government has taken uh, aggressive action in trying to procure through theft intellectual property that is developed here in the United States, and I think for companies out in Silicon Valley and throughout the United States, should be cognizant of this and uh, make sure that they're protecting their intellectual property uh, from cyber intrusions or from an insider uh, who might be uh, facilitating the theft of that intellectual property uh, at the hands of the Chinese government or any foreign government for that matter. Talking about intellectual property, you know, many of the companies, they're looking to the big market in China and in Asia. So, you know, um, they're probably thinking about go to another country uh, to open the branch or even move the company to Asia. So what's your suggestion? How do they protect the, their intellectual property? property? Yes, I, I would be very careful and obviously you know there's a number of uh, ways that you can protect your intellectual property but uh, one thing I would say is if you are looking to take intellectual property into China or any other foreign uh, nation uh, you should make sure that you've adequately protected it uh, and consider what, how significant that piece of intellectual property is to the solvency of your corporation or your organization uh, so that if it is compromised, your company is not going to lose its market share or its overall solvency. So what they can do? Well, I consider keeping it in the United States. Uh, if you are moving it over to China, do a lot of research on the national security laws in China and what requirements the Chinese government for ha will have for you as a company moving your intellectual property into that country. Most of the companies, they don't have the resource to do the research, so where can they find the help? Yeah, I would say, look, if you are a company and you have a significant piece of intellectual property or a trade secret and you are considering moving to China, you know, contact the FBI, contact organizations, uh, the Department of Commerce, uh, whereby you can get guidance on both the threats to intellectual property from the Chinese government or other foreign nations and ways by which you might be able to protect your intellectual property and an overall evaluation of whether you should move that piece of intellectual property to a foreign nation to begin with. So what if they already moved to China? They already have the business relationship for now. So do they need to contact FBI or? No, I don't think you need to contact the FBI until you have uh, an allegation of a theft. Uh, I would just say, again, if you're moving intellectual property or a trade secret into China or to Russia or to other countries where they have a propensity to steal the intellectual property, you need to do everything you can to protect that internally within your company. I believe that most of the companies, especially the startup people, they don't have the, you know, the knowledge to identify right. this kind of threat and they don't feel that there is a necessary to do so. Well, a lot of startups uh, aren't, you know, dealing with uh, intellectual property. A lot of it, if it's a startup, it's a lot of R&D that may eventually become intellectual property or a trade secret. So, you know, moving that to China, if that is their wish uh, in going into the global economy, they have that opportunity and choice. What I'm speaking to specifically is if they do have a trade secret or a defined piece of intellectual property, which is extremely significant to a startup, I would just be wary about taking that into China or any other foreign government, or foreign nation for that matter, uh, and make sure that you're taking adequate steps to protect that intellectual property. And also, there are many companies from China uh, coming to Silicon Valley, uh, especially all these years. I see, you know, in the 
in the near three or five years. So what are those companies should pay attention to? Well, I mean, if their company's coming from China, obviously their intellectual property would probably be, you know, developed in China. So, I mean, if they're in the United States and they're domiciled in the United States and they're, you know, doing business in the U.S. economy uh, and they're developing new intellectual property while in the United States, I would say they take added measures to protect that as well. Because basically we're talking about intellectual property or trade secrets that are developed in the United States, uh, not developed in China and moved to the United States. What if they already put them themselves in, in danger and they don't know that? Well, that's a good question, right? As a, as a company or a startup, it's your responsibility to put measures into place to protect your intellectual property. Uh, that's ever so important, especially for a smaller organization that may not have a robust internal security apparatus. You want to make sure that you're taking added measures to protect your intellectual property so it's not compromised through a cyber intrusion or at the hands of a human being at the direction of a foreign government. So what if they are they already in trouble? And how you guys are going to? What are you going? Are you going to do and yeah. to help them? Good question. If if you are a victim of what we would define as economic espionage or the theft of a trade secret, notify your local FBI office. The FBI will investigate allegations of economic espionage or the theft of trade secrets. So feel free to contact the FBI and report this. One issue we have had over the years is the fact that many companies won't report allegations of economic espionage. Now what would happen to them? No, there's no law preventing them from um, not disclosing the trade secret theft. The reason they wouldn't report it to law enforcement or the FBI is specific to they don't want the publicity that comes with the loss of that significant piece of economic data within their corporation because they have shareholders to report to or, um, you know, market share. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you for you the very information. Much for the opportunity.